Hello viewers, welcome back. This is Shridhar here and I have come again with a very interesting video which will definitely help you learn something out of it. So if you are a teacher, an educator, a content creator or a blogger, then this particular video is made specially handcrafted for you. So without wasting much time, let's get started and see what this particular video is all about. Uh, well, as you can see, I've mentioned few professions over here. Well, this video is not only limited to these people, but will definitely help you out if you are looking to learn something or some new technology, which will definitely help you in the future. I hope you must have seen one of my videos where I had discussed what exactly a light board is. If not, then you can kindly check the video cards on top and you can click on those videos and go to that video straight away. Let me quickly explain what a light board is and then I would straight away jump to this particular topic. Light board is nothing but it's a glass board where uh, you, the instructor will stand behind the light board and you would be writing something from behind the light board. Okay. So what exactly happens is there is a camera setup. This particular camera will be in front of you. Now you are shooting something. So you would be writing something on the glass board. Now, how is it different from a standard glass board? A standard glass board is simply a glass board where you would use glass markers and write something on the glass board. But what makes it different from a light board? Light board is nothing but the setup remains exactly same. Only thing is you have to attach some light sources which will reflect the light inside the glass board itself. So you can do that with the help of some LED strips, wrap it around the glass board and all the uh, light will get totally internally reflected. That is total internal reflection of light. We must have, you must have studied in physics or you can do a quick Google search. Whenever light enters into that glass board due to the refractive index of that particular glass, difference in refractive index be between the glass medium and air, the light gets trapped inside that particular light board and the uh, whatever you write using neon markers on that uh, particular glass board, it will glow and the uh, whatever content you have written on the glass board, it will shine out. So that is the entire concept of a light board, how light board works. You must have seen how light board works uh, in many videos on YouTube. It's a very attractive kind of a video uh, where the user will click on that video without thinking twice because it attracts the crowd very easily. Just imagine if you are uh, shooting inside a room which is totally dark. So what happens is the background is black and only light will focus on your face and the content which you have written on top of that glass board. This looks really interesting, but it has few drawbacks. Drawbacks as in it requires a lot of space. You would require a lot of space to set this up in your room. If you have a separate room at your disposal, then it's not an issue. But just imagine if you are having a bedroom and you are having some space crunch and you would like to set up a light board in that bedroom, then in that scenario, it would be a little infeasible or little difficult. So that is why I thought, why not try to replace exactly what a light board does, but without investing a lot in uh, in terms of space or in terms of uh, hardware. Okay, let me uh, let me tell you one more thing. A particular light board setup, the smallest light board setup that you can think of could be two feet by three feet, two feet height and three feet width, and that would cost you approximately somewhere around seven thousand to eight thousand uh, on the minimum side. So that is the minimum cost uh, it will uh, incur if you are trying to create your own light board setup at home. Okay, uh, but if we think of whatever uh, I'm going to explain now in this particular video, it will hardly cost you around uh, three to four thousand. One thing, one advantage of this particular setup, which I'm going to explain is that you would you won't require a lot of space. You would simply require a table where you uh, would be uh, currently uh, sitting. You would be having a computer uh, right now in front of you. So what is that three to four thousand I'm talking about? This three to four thousand is nothing but it will uh, be the cost of your graphics tablet. I hope those who are following me from day one, they would be knowing what a graphics tablet is. It's nothing but it's like a tablet uh, uh, or a graphic device which you are using, which I'm currently using to write whatever you are seeing on your screens, right? So this is the bigger version. So it comes out for around five to 6,000. But if you want, you can go uh, with the lower uh, version, which is slightly smaller in size and it would cost you around two to 3,000. And what are the other things which would cost you? First thing, uh, first is a graphics tablet and I hope you are having a microphone at your home. So it won't cost you much. Okay. So what I would suggest is if you are having a graphics tablet, that is the priority. That is the 
uh, bare minimum thing which you would require and secondly if the lighting in your room is not proper enough then you can uh, go with a uh, ring light which will again cost you around 500 to 600 rupees thirdly optional if you are having a dark background or a dark wall then this could be uh, omitted but if you are not having a dark background or a wall which could act as your background then you can invest around 500 to 600 rupees or even lesser on a green screen right now you can see my background is green right so you can invest around 500 to 600 rupees on a green screen so roughly it would cost you around 4000 rupees uh, and that would be around half of what you would uh, invest in setting up a light board right so that is uh, the difference between a light board and the setup which i am talking from a long time so i hope you now got the understanding of what exactly i'm going to do in this video i hope you all are excited so without wasting much time let's get started and let's see what i am talking about so the software which you would require for doing this is very first obs studio it's a very interesting software which will help you create this sort of an environment and second thing you would require a whiteboard any whiteboard application you uh, you use for example right now i'm using microsoft whiteboard uh, that is one of the best whiteboards i have used so far so you can use any of the whiteboards I would uh, provide the links in the description section. You can go there and click on it and install the particular software. So once you are done with uh, installation of OBS Studio, you can uh, open that software. If, by the way, if you are having or if you are facing any issues while installing OBS Studio, you can check on the links on top. Also, I would share the uh, links in the description box also. You can go through that and install OBS Studio on your machines. So this is how OBS Studio looks like. On the left hand side, we are having scenes and some sources. In your case, it will be a little different because you are starting from scratch. So what you can do is click on this plus option that is add a scene. Give a name to your scene. For example, I am going to create a blackboard sort of environment. So I would give it a name as blackboard. Similarly, now this particular scene is empty. Whatever you see in the video is nothing but your scene. Okay, so right now the scene is empty. So the viewer won't be able to see anything at all. So the first source inside your scene would be your video capturing device or your webcam or if you're shooting with your mobile phone you can add your mobile phone as well as a camera so click on add source and click on video capture device you won't be able to see this option add existing if you are doing it for the first time so give it any name and click on ok now in your case you would be able to see the various cameras attached to your device or to your laptop in my case i would be selecting this lenovo full hd webcam which i already have installed but i won't be able to see anything if i select this why because i am already using that in this particular scene so it would it would overlap and at one point of time it can be used by only one of the scenes so what i would do is i would delete this and i would select the second option that is uh, add existing so i would select this lenovo webcam and click ok so in your case it would be uh, creating a new device and then clicking ok that's it so this is my uh, video capturing device and as you can see i am having a green screen uh, at the background but i won't require the rest of the portion of the screen so what i would do is i would uh, crop this particular scene for that for doing that simply click on this uh, screen and uh, press shift alt then drag the sides and you can keep only the portion of the scene or the screen which you would want to be displayed i would keep only this much okay uh, just a little okay this would do and then click anywhere on the screen so now you can keep on rotating this particular footage so this is your first source now you can uh, toggle this off for some time now let me add the second source. The second source is going to be your whiteboard. This is the particular area where you would be conducting your lectures. You could use it for solving problems. You could use it for writing something which your students would be able to see. Right. So this is going to be my second source. Now what you can do is again go back and click on plus. And this time you need to select this particular source called window capture. Click on it. Give it any name. Click on OK. If your Microsoft whiteboard is not minimized, then it will pop up over here. Click that. Capture method should be Windows 10. And window match priority could be this. 
match title otherwise find window of same executable and click ok this should show on your screen if it doesn't then what you can do is again minimize it once then again maximize it it should show yeah now you could see my screen over here and then click on ok that's it so my second source is added now if I toggle this Lenovo webcam again it doesn't show up why because there is some concept of order or ordering now as you can see my windows capture is on top of my Lenovo webcam hence my windows capture would be given higher priority as compared to my Lenovo webcam but if I want to uh, see this Lenovo webcam also the footage from this webcam also then I simply need to drag this and put it on top of the windows capture something like this isn't it easy yes it is but now what is happening my background is not visible completely so we need to do certain uh, things over here with the green screen that is why i told you the green screen is optional but it would be very uh, handy if you if you could uh, purchase a green screen uh, and let me show you how things work over here what you need to do next is you simply need to click on the previous arrangement that is keep the windows capture on top now let me go back to my uh, whiteboard and show you something now what is the arrangement going to be the arrangement is going to be divided into two things background and foreground now foreground is nothing but your whiteboard where you would be writing something that is it will be on top and the background is going to be yourself your face right so this is going to be a background so the same ordering we have done but the only catch over here is I am now not able to see my face. So for that thing to work, you need to add some filters on the first source that is window capture source. It would be preferable if you uh, select the background of this whiteboard as black. For doing that, click on format background and you can select the uh, color. In my case, I already have it in black. In your case, it might be white by default. So you can change that. Now again, go back to OBS. Now we are going to add some filters and let me show you how to do that. Simply right click on this window capture to device. In your case, the name might be different. Okay. So click on this window capture to go to filters, click on this plus and add something called as color key. Click on okay. Now you have the option of these many color screens, but as you can see, I cannot select green because right now I want this black portion to be transparent, right? So that I could see the uh, background, which is nothing but my face. So what I will do is I will click this particular drop down and go to custom color. Now click on select color again, click on pick screen color and now click on this black portion of the screen. Now what it will do is it will make that portion of the screen transparent and rest everything will be shown on the screen. So let me click on OK. And as you can see, now things are taking shape. Now if I write something on the screen, let me minimize this. Let me minimize this as well. Let me keep it side by side. And if I write something over here, just pay attention on the screen on the left hand side. As you can see, things are taking shape magically whatever i'm writing on the screen it is popping up on the left hand side as well so that is what i'm trying to do let me again maximize it and go back so right now whatever i would be writing on the whiteboard that will reflect over here so it is already taking shape and it is already looking like a light board setup but the only thing is you need to make this green portion also black so that whatever I write over here that looks prominent. So again, you have to repeat the same thing, same technique or same trick on this source this time. So what you need to do is again, right click over there, go to filters, go to chroma key filters, click on OK. If I select green, this is how it looks. It's not looking that good. So again, you have to fine tune it. So you can see if I do this, now the portion behind is magically turning into black but some things need to be done further because it's not looking that great so i need to play around with these settings i can make it smoother i can play around with the colors i can play around with the opacity the contrast i can add a little brightness 
well everything boils down to the lighting in your room if you're having proper lighting in your room then you can achieve uh, better results with a little fine tuning okay so let me do this and click close uh, so i hope this is turning out to be a nice experiment right so now what you can do is as you can see this white portion doesn't look nice so you can drag it and make it move out of the screen now it's turning out to be nice okay you can keep it like this and now let me go back to my whiteboard and erase all these things now if i write something Now if I write something over here, for example, let me write it over here. Hello. How are you? So as you can see, you would be able to write on the screen at the same time. Let me show you how it looks in real time. Let me uh, stop this for a second and I will come back with a crystal clear uh, recording or crystal clear output where I would be able to show you how it looks in real time. Okay. This is a really nice concept, isn't it? You could use this to create your video lectures, make it more interesting and your students will really like it. Fine. So this particular setup will cost you around three to four thousand as we I have already discussed in the beginning and it would be nearly half the price of what a light board will cost you. Okay, but it will give you the exact same result which a light board will give to you. But it will save space and money at the same time. So I hope you like this concept. I hope you would try it out and show me the results in the comment section. You can record your videos, upload it on YouTube and show me the results in the comment section. I would be really very thankful to you. I would be really very glad if you do that. It will be like a boost. It will be like a motivation to uh, what I'm currently doing. And it will obviously help me record these sort of videos for you in the future as well. So on that note, if you like this video, do subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, like the video and stay connected. Thank you so much.